Vlog a day, 93. It's Monday, and I'm going on an inter-island adventure on an inter-island adventure. It's also early and difficult to enunciate, but I'm, I'm going to Union Island. The wind is so strong today, it's knocking stuff off the table. Before I leave at seven? Yep. Okay, so I gotta hurry, huh? There is a school boat. It's probably my favorite part of the whole island experience so far. Assuming I make it, because it is six, 52, I wanted to leave about 12 minutes ago. Honestly, can't tell you why I'm running late. I just realized that I left my laptop sitting on the desk. I grabbed the power cable, I grabbed everything else, but I left my laptop and I sorta of kinda need that to get work done. Ah! I'm gonna start the day sweating. Yeah, time to run again. All my stuff's still there. 657, and those guys said I better hurry. Uh, all these people with backpacks are walking, which is tempting me to walk. But I'll half jog. Is that the school boat? Really? That's small. 704 and the school boat just got here. So, uh, I mean, I probably did need to hurry but I didn't need to sweat this much. There we go. Oh, it's a tiny boat. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah. We'll there, I was right? expecting a big yellow, you know, school boat. Yeah? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> it's white there on here. It is. <laughs> I did not expect an ab workout this morning, but I'm grateful for it. I think I need it. I think I am right here, and somewhere in there is coffee. Sam said that there was a French cafe over here that's actually run by a French woman and they have espresso. I need to find that. It's an aggressive tree. I was really excited to get espresso. It was like the main thing that I was really excited about coming to Union for. And um, both of the places that have espresso were closed for low season. Oh well. There's Wi-Fi across the street, so. These guys don't even look like they're open. I'm gonna see if I can find some water at least. Seriously, that boat ride. I was not expecting it to be like an, an ab workout. And no one's in reception either. All right, so. The breeze here is amazing. The only downside right now is that they don't have any water. Uh, so I'm drinking Coke, which is, I mean, I like Coke. It's just not the most refreshingest of things when you're really thirsty. It's 9 a.m. I'm ordering my pizza now to make sure I get it at a reasonable time. By his suggestion, he's like, to order it now. All right, Coke's not gonna cut it. I need water <laughs> really badly. Found one down the street. My number one mistake this morning was not giving myself the 15 seconds I needed to fill my Nalgene up. It only was like a third full. If you're gonna run up a hill in the tropics, my pizza has arrived. I haven't had pizza in like three weeks. Three weeks, I haven't had pizza in, wow. How have I survived so long? 
One of the downsides to living on the road or and just not having a place of my own is that I can't leave my computer anywhere. So I, for the last, man, I mean, for the last two and a half years or something like that, I've packed up my computer into my backpack almost every day. So just having a space to put my computer down and not move it for two weeks, it's kind of weird in a good way. I liked it. What the heck is a Target shopping cart doing all the way and out there of all places? Uh, I got four minutes to get to the ferry. I kind of got caught up watching videos of Buzz Aldrin punching a conspiracy theorist in the face. I didn't know there was a thing, but my buddy Pat posted it and it's amazing. Island flavor here totally hooked me up too because they let me come back in and sit out of the rain. Oh! Tiny ab workouts everywhere, all day, every day. Still really disappointed that this school boat is not yellow. That's the saddest part. Gonna leave without me? <laughs> Thank you much. Back we go. <laughs> she's waiting for me right here at the top of the hill. Are you coming? She just can't get over the edge. She's whining and scratching herself at the same time. It's impressive. Well, I started the day sweating, and I'm ending the day sweating. <laughs> this hill. Speaking of sweating, I think I probably still have time to go for a run. I have downgraded the sandals to save time on all the desanding of my feet. This could be a horrible mistake given uh, the territory I'm about to walk through. But uh, if the next shot is of me on the beach, you can just assume that nothing horrible or interesting happened on the way, and that is what I'm going for. Yeah. 